Hi, this is Miss Pam, Connors Elementary School, the after school program. Today we're going to be doing uh, a type of architecture drawing. And um, I'm so excited about it because I think this is going to be so much fun. Drawing for me has always been a problem and I found this and I thought, ah, this is going to make things really easy and simple to draw. Okay, so um, we're going to start by doing Mayan temples. And a Mayan temple um, uh, is actually a temple looking like this. Okay, this is huge. Uh, and you can see all the people going up. And I'll talk a little bit about that in just a minute. Um, this is a Mayan civilization. These civilizations were huge. And you can see all the buildings in there. The buildings and all of that. Okay. Um, Mayan temples, what are they? Uh, they're found in Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, and Belize. Mexico has the most Mayan temples. Mayan temples were used for religious worship and sacrifice under guardianship of priests. Different temples serve different gods. These massive steps at times reach more than 200 feet, and this is the one that has the over 200 feet. Mayans had a written language, calendar, architecture design, rubber, and the first to grow papaya and cacao trees. Uh, that's a form of cocoa. That's where we get our cocoa from. Mayans, believe it or not, remember I said they had rubber? Mayans had ball courts and played a game where the ball, the rubber ball, had to be moved to a ring, but they could not use their hands. So that was the first ball game that was in existence. Mayans developed a calendar. This is very interesting, with a la last cycle ending in December 2010. Even though the civilizations have gone, it was based December 2010. It was based on 365 days, solar calendar, which gave them time of religious events, astronomical calendar, which had a 52-year cycle. Pretty clever, huh? Okay, so what you're going to need to get started? You're going to need a tutorial of the Mayan temple, which I'll go over with you. You need grid paper, and the grid paper looks like this. All right, and so in your packets, you're going to have this paper. You need two sharp pencils with good erasers, 12 inch ruler, crayons or colored pencils, and a fine tip black marker. Now, this is one of a series of these, draw these activities. Um, so when you have these, these items, you're going to keep these for the next few, few drawing sessions, okay? All right, so um, how does this work? With the step of the of the step-by-step uh, -step tutorial, you're going to draw a Mayan temple. Now, the Mayan temple that we're drawing looks like this. Okay, um, I'm going to encourage you not to use this. I'm going to encourage you to draw the Mayan temple. Okay, to do that, you're going to use your grid, and you're going to mark it out exactly by these directions. The tutorial. Now. Looking closely, the first one says, draw a rectangle. And you see where it is. You can count up the boxes from the middle line. And you can see some of the boxes and some of the drawing here, you'll have to use partial boxes. And you'll have to use your ruler. The second one is, add an angled shape. And the angled shape is this one going down to the bottom. Okay. And you can see, then you're going to add the stairs one at a time. Okay, and the last thing that you're going to do down here is you're going to add the mountains and the clouds, and the, it should look like that one. Okay, so uh, when, you're, when you're done, again, what I want you to do is take your marker and go over the shape. Okay, you're going to go over each line that you've made with a black marker. Then you're going to color it. You can use crayons or you can use markers for this one. Interesting thing though, you can add more layers for color if you want some instant shadows. Okay, that way it won't look flat. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. I made mine. Um, have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye.